All right, this was sent into the channel for review. Uh, another microscope. I reviewed a microscope earlier that was a 7-inch uh, microscope, same form factor. Uh, this is a 10-inch LCD panel, so much nicer. Um, so let's take a look at that one. This is an ODM 501. Uh, let's take a look inside, see if it looks the same. Yeah, here's a, here's a picture of it. It looks basically the same as the uh, other microscope that I reviewed earlier. Um, different manufacturer, uh, but I think... Uh, I think these are, I don't know if they're possibly built all out of the same factory or not, but this, uh, like I said, is the 10 inch, uh, 10 inch screen. So much, much better. Let's take a look at what we get inside here. Uh, yeah, here is the, this is the actual microscope. It doesn't look like a, it doesn't look like a microscope, but it's a, uh, LCD panel with a lens on it. So it's like a camera, except the lens is a, uh, a zoom uh, micro uh, lens, uh, you know, the ocular is like built in. And uh, this one has a, a light source built in. It has a ring, a ring light source in the, uh, right here in the front. So normal polarizer. Oh, it's got a polarizer also. Oh, wow. Okay. This one's fancier. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me put it together. Uh, I'm not going to do an unboxing. Let me put it together and uh, we'll take, uh, take a look at it. All right, so there's quite a few differences between uh, the microscope that I reviewed earlier and this one. Um, this one has a battery in it, uh, so it's rechargeable, which is super nice. So it has a USB-C charging port in the back, and if I disconnect the... Uh, disconnect the uh, cord here, it continues to work. So I don't know how much charge this has, so I'm just gonna leave it, uh, leave it plugged in, let it, let it charge it more. Um, it does have a 10 inch screen. Ow, oh, right in the way there. Uh, it does have a, a 10 inch screen, so it's super nice. Um, has an on off button here, a menu button here, uh, some up down arrow okay buttons here. Uh, so the way this thing is constructed, has a metal base, has a rack and pinion uh, adjustment here, so you can go loosen that. We can go, we can go up and down with the rack and pinion. It's rack and pinion all the way up and down. Uh, it does have an adjustable tilt. Uh, probably should loosen that up, but it looks like it's okay for now. Just leave it alone. Um, let's see here, what else? What else can I see in the back? It's all black on black here. I'm not gonna be able to photograph this well, but there's a little door here that you open up and there's a, a HDMI output, a memory card, and a, another charging, charging port there. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to get up into there. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, uh, this particular model does not come with any extra lenses. So the one lens is what you get. Um, it does have an extra feature though. I can change the, uh, boy, this is gonna be hard to photograph. I can change the intensity of these two lights with a little wheel in the back. Okay, so I can dim them down and make them go off. Okay, so now I'm just looking at room lights. All right. And uh, of course that looks nice. Um, we can also use the ring light that's actually on the lens. And this is kind of interesting. Uh, let me show you how you do this. There's a little uh, uh, swipe right here and you can see it turns on, the, uh, turns on the ring illumination right here, okay? So I think that will be valuable if we're super close. So let's see how close we can get, we can get with this thing. Let's see how it's... Uh, how it zoom works up close. Well, we can get very, very close. Good. Let's take a look at a particular feature here that I know something about. Okay, there we go. And I can zoom in on that. Now I'm going to turn the ring light on and put a little uh, illumination on that. Let me kill the let me kill the room lights. And uh, yeah, that's freaking really good. If I Turn off the ring illuminator, turn the ring illuminator back on at different intensities. It's going to auto change the auto exposure of the camera. So, uh, yeah, wow, that's working really good. I like that. 
and uh, we can get really, really close. Uh, let's see, have we maxed out on closeness? No, I don't think we are. So let's uh, see if we can get even a little bit closer to this thing, see how well it does. Uh, starting to see artifacts of the uh, illuminator, you can start to see some of the individual LEDs in a ring shape around that part there. But wow, we can get in super, super close. Uh, I think we can still get in closer. Yeah, so no need really for extra lenses now, is there? Wow, is, I can see the individual bond wires now on that uh, on that part. Yeah, that's super nice. Um, right now I'm filming in 1080 FHP. Uh, we'll have to take a look at the menu and see what uh, what resolutions we have available to us. Uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, so obviously this would be too close for some work, but okay, let's see how far we can go in the opposite direction. Let's see how far away we can get. I'm going to raise the uh, camera all the way to the top of the rack and pinion. Okay, I'm up at the very top now. And let me resume the lens here. And yeah, very, very nice. Turn this back on. Use the other camera. Wow, I really like this thing. Um, we really don't need the ring light anymore. I'll turn that off. It's not needed. And we can turn our gooseneck lamps on if we want to, but they aren't really needed either, really. The room lights are doing a perfectly fine job. Oh, there was one thing I was going to try when we had it zoomed down, and that is to rotate this thing that says polarizer. There is what looks to be like a polarizer on the actual um, LEDs themselves. So polarite light will shine onto the uh, onto the device. I don't know if there's another polarizer in the system where we can get a, some type of other effect with it or not. Let me, let's try it out. Let's go back down. We'll zoom in here. Let me turn off the room lights. Let's turn on the ring illuminator. Okay, and then let me change the polarizer. Oh yeah, we are changing it. Um, yeah, it's a subtle effect, but yeah, you can see it operate. All right, so the polarizer does do something. I have to play with that and see what, uh, what will be best and what won't be best. All right, if I hit the menu button, I get into the menu. Uh, photo resolution. Uh, let's go there. 2 megapixel. So I was recording at 2 megapixel, so we can change that to 5 megapixel. Yeah, 5 megapixel. All right. Movie resolution. That's photo resolution. If I take a photo, it'll be 5. 5. If I do movie resolution, yeah, 1080p. Okay, so my movie was as good as it gets. It does 1080p, but for photos, you can do up to 5 megapixels. That's nice. Um, let's see here. We can do exposures. Okay. Uh, date and stamp. Fine. Auto power off. Fine. LCD brightness. Language. Date and time. Cross line. Okay. We can turn on cross lines. I usually like that. So let's turn those on. Hmm. I don't see them yet. Uh, let's see here. Power fix. Oh, yeah. To get rid of. Uh, cameras flicker, um, and so you need to set what your native resolution is for your country. So here in the, the U.S. it's 60 hertz. Uh, let's see here, format. That's probably format the SD card, and we don't want to do that. Set the default settings and our version number, which is that one. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, get out of here. Ah, our lines now show up, so we have a... Uh, we have a nice line. So that, that will be good for uh, doing videos. And then I can point, I can point to things. Let me turn my camera back on. Uh, is it recording? 
Oh yeah, it was. Oh no, there it goes. Okay, now it's recording. So yes, yeah, so I can say, hey, uh, right there where the crosshairs are, that uh, looks like it's a uh, diode right there. Oh no, it says L L17, so that's an inductor. Fooled me. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be good. Um, yeah, I like this thing. Let me show you. Cranking it up here in the back. Right, crank it up a ways, lock it down there. Come back around, and then uh, you need to focus, which is this ring here. So it's actually a, a focus slash zoom. We can get it close with that one. If you're having a hard time kind of dialing in exactly, you can reach behind and use the rack and rack and pinion to uh, to f further focus it. But I think you can get the uh, get the hang of it and not, not worry about it. Take a look at some bodge wires over here. Yeah. Well, I'm going to like this a lot, especially since it's battery powered. Sometimes I, uh, when I'm doing videos, I just want to grab it and quickly, uh, quickly do a video of a close up. Like, um, I might be interested in this little part here and I'll just, I'll just want a real quick video or a quick snapshot of that part. And then the rest of the video will be just normal and I'll, I'll insert that one. So having something I could just pull off the shelf and use immediately, that'll be great. Um, I'm changing my Olympus microscope to all LEDs and I'm actually using flashlights so I can just push the button on the flashlights and I um, so my my fancy Olympus is now going to be battery powered as well um, So yeah, this is gonna be really good All right since it says it has a five megapixel, let's uh Let's do that Let's uh, take a look at something interesting and do it with five megapixels. Let's uh Let's do it with uh, that little thing right there. Let's see if we can photograph him at five megapixels. Let's uh, let's crank it down again, Get it nice and close, or maybe even better. Maybe just five megapixel big would be better. You're right. I think five megapixel big, and then we can just kind of see if it's. Uh, let's see what's something interesting. Maybe that's interesting right there. Okay, let me uh, critically focus it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Uh, let me turn off the ring illuminator and we'll just use the room light. That looks great. And I'll take a snapshot here. How do I take a snapshot with this one? I think so. I think that just took a picture. All right, well, that was my review of the HDMI digital microscope model OM501. Um, seems very nice. Um, it is uh, top illumination only, but it has two ways of illuminating it, either ring illumination or the uh, gooseneck illuminations. Only one lens, um, but it has a very, very long range and nice 10-inch uh, nice display. So yeah, highly recommended.